Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate PTV Vision 2020 for signalized intersection. Actually, calibration is the process in which the various parameters of the simulation model are adjusted till the model accurately represents the field conditions. Since the parameters of VSIM, which affects the behavior of network creator in it, which are adjusted during the calibration, so that the model replicates field conditions. That means when you are calibrating the PTV VSIM, we are replicating the field condition in the software. So there are numerous calibration parameters that can be modified, which are categorized based on their characteristics. For example, we have like driving behavior parameter, desired speed distribution, acceleration or deceleration distribution. So today we are going to start calibrating PTV VSIM, which is the first step. So I'm going to start from base data in this icon. If you click, you can get function. So you can start by calibrating the function of your simulation. So you can start from maximum acceleration. When you click the maximum acceleration, you can get a plenty of option. Actually, in this case, I put vehicles so you can add here for the maximum acceleration. So if you see on the right, left side, right side, you have a, a plenty of options here, the maximum acceleration and the minimum acceleration. So if you change to the single point, you can only see one column. If you change to the data points, you can see two columns. Also, you can calibrate the desired acceleration, the maximum acceleration, desired acceleration, critical speed based on the actual data you have on the ground. So, for example, for the car, if you click here, it shows the graph like this. So you can adjust the maximum acceleration from zero to maximum, the one you wanted, the one you have data on, on your hand. You can do all the things based on this for the maximum acceleration for different types of the car categories. Well, another calibration should be for desired speed. You can get this under the distribution. So if you click the desired speed, you can get a plenty of speed options, but you can have your own speed design. So, for example, in this case, since I'm going to calibrate for the signalized intersection, so here I created for my own the desired speed distribution. If you click this, you have this type of graph. So you can put the minimum speed and the maximum speed. This will be the speed of the entire simulation. So here you have to put the data you have from the field condition because it's the replicable it replicates the field condition this simulation well other one is and that you can also adjust the power the weight based on the your car cargo categories the time the distance the occupancy everything you can calibrate here another basic important thing for calibration is the vehicle type okay in europe According to the European Commission, they have different types of vehicle. For example, they have like category L, they have category M, category N. Also, they classify the users of the road as pedestrian, bike. So based on your country regulation, you can have different types of vehicle type. Okay. Here you have to choose the occupancy, occupancy distribution. If it is like vehicle, you have to have single occupancy. If it's pedestrian, the occupancy would, should be empty. Okay. Well, in the same way, you can add here. If you have like more than such kind, more than like, or you have like different vehicles, you can add here. Okay. Again, if you want to calibrate the vehicle class, as I told you, like in Europe, they have like different types of cars, but in the PTV, 
they have like specified car types so you can calibrate your own car based on the color vehicle type everything you can calibrate okay so this is about the calibration in the basic data especially for function distribution vehicle type and vehicle class another most important thing in calibration is the driving behavior this is the most important thing for my case i have created my own driving behavior for urban made road actually ptv has like six default link behaviors so for my case i created urban main road so if i click here i can get the driving behavior okay in the driving behavior in the first part you can get following so this tells that how the vehicles are flowing in the circulation so in the circulation the vehicles should have like a head distance at what a head distance they look the vehicles before them so you have to create here the minimum and the maximum most of the time in the roundabout the a head distance are between three and five meter also you have you can put the maximum a head distance over here also you can here calibrate the look back distance so you can look the vehicles like behind you also here you can adjust the behavior during recovery from speed breakdown like because i'm going to uh, design the signalized roundabouts or the signalized intersection so the vehicles they became like stopped or halted because of the uh, signals so then if they recover from the speed you can like make calibration here from slow recovery well another one is car following metal in this model there are three options in the ptv the first one is in no interaction if you are designing for pedestrian there is no interaction for the pedestrian so you can click on this and you can adjust for the pedestrian if you click for Whitman, this is like uh, urban motorized highways or for the rural road you can use this one if you are designing the signalized roads you have to use this one with man 99 with a plenty of options here there are like different types of model parameters so you can adjust these all things based on the data you have on the on your hand again you can add here the vehicles that you adjusted in using the basic data before this one so you can add the vehicles so based on each vehicle you can adjust all the widman parameters you can increase the seconds you can decrease the acceleration everything another parameter here is the lane change in the lane change there are two behaviors the one is free lane selection another one is slow lane roll so if you select free lane selection that means the vehicles are free to select lanes during the simulation process in the slow lane vehicles are slowly they change their lanes here you can adjust the maximum acceleration and the trailing vehicles also you can adjust the waiting time before diffusion here you can insert the data based on the actual data on your hand another one is cooperative lane change so here you can also adjust the lane change also the rail correction of lateral position you can adjust based on these parameters well another one is to check the desired position of the flow here we have options like any flow you can make like the flow in any direction you can make the flow in the middle of the lane you can make to the right to the left but don't forget here if there are like heterogeneous flow like some countries 
the drivers they don't follow rules if they don't follow the rules you can select the diamond key if they follow the rules you have to deselect the diamond queue again here in the latter option you can adjust the collision time gain the minimum longitudinal speed and so on also in the same way here if you are designing for the if you are calibrating for exceptions like for the some cars you can make here some exceptions okay here vehicles are allowed to overtake on a lane to the left the vehicles which are allowed to take on the right so if you calibrate here the vehicles are not allowed to change their lanes here another important thing here is the signal control since we are going to calibrate ptv for the signalized intersection here we have two options the first one is for the green after the end of the green what will be our reaction the first one is one decision and continuous check for example in the whole 24 hours if you have like the same behavior for the signals you can use the one decision if you have continuous or like if you have different signal timing you can check the continuous check okay again if you click the one decision you have to adjust the factors alpha beta 1 and the beta 2 based on the data on your hand also here another thing is reaction after the end of red the first one is the end of green so most of the time it's advisable to make it as go same as green because here we selected the green continuous check so the red also goes or follows the green system again here you can uh, adjust the reduced safety distance close to a stop line since there's a stop line in the roundabout you can adjust everything like this well if you are designing for autonomous vehicles you can adjust or you can calibrate based on the autonomous driving here you can use these parameters also for the driver error based on the researches or based on the guideline you can put the driver errors also you can use the meso okay another basic important thing is the time interval during the simulation time you have to know from which time you have to start your simulation and the maximum in the time of your simulation so you can adjust the time interval for your simulation from here well another important thing is vehicle composition as i told you that in europe they use different types of vehicle composition like category n l m and t so you can compose the vehicles based on the approaches here we have different approaches north west south and the east approach so for each approach you can assign vehicles for example for the north case here the vehicles are assigned are hgv bus category n and lm so you can also put the desired speed based on your data okay again another thing important thing is signal control i will show you next time how to design or how to put the signals but it's important so in the signal control group you have to put the signal group okay the configuration for the under the configuration you get all the signal bounds in each approach also the signal programming this is the most important thing okay so i will show you next time about this in detail another important thing before making simulation is the parameter you have to check the parameters in the parameter in the general button you have plenty of parameters here the first one is the period so you can adjust the period i mean that the simulation seconds the start time the start date based on your interest 
based on your actual data and based on your analysis okay another one is the random seed here the random seed should be started from one actually it's a simulation so here you are going to calibrate or you here you are going to make a simulation starting from one and it's advisable to use odd numbers like which are increasing sequentially so if the simulation speed is in maximum that means the vehicles are running in the very fast way if you make in the factor like if you make like one two you are like increasing or decreasing the speed of the vehicles which are moving in the in the system well that's all about calibration next time i will show you more about how to make links so thank you very much for today.